Hi everyone, I'm Don from Upload VR, and today we're going to be showing you how to install and configure the new Citra VR Nintendo 3DS emulator for your MetaQuest 2, 3, or Pro. So in this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get it all set up and running on your headset. Now, Citra VR isn't something that you're going to find on the main Quest Store or even App Lab at this point. So if you want to experience this, you're going to need to sideload it. In order to make this work, you're going to need to own either a Quest 2, Quest 3, or Quest Pro headset, and you're also going to have to have a PC and a USB cable handy because this is what's required to transfer the needed files. Now, there are a couple of different methods for getting Citra VR installed, but to make this process easier, we're going to focus on using SideQuest. So let's get started. In order to sideload Citra VR to your headset, you're going to need to enable developer mode. And this is a bit of a process, but just follow along and we'll show you what you're going to need to get it all set up. So first, you're going to need to either create or log into an account at the Oculus developer site. Now, if you've already done this, then feel free to skip to step two. Once you're signed up, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up an organization. And after you agree to the terms and conditions, you're done here. And you can now grab your phone and log into your Meta app for the next step, which is to enable the developer mode. Now, you do this by going to Menu, Devices, you select your headset, and then you're going to go to the headset settings and find the developer mode tab where you'll see a toggle switch to enable it. Once you're confirmed to be in developer mode, you can now connect your headset to a PC with SideQuest installed and you'll then need to allow debug access from within the headset itself, especially if this is your first time doing this. Finally, once that's done, you can remove the headset and then go back to SideQuest and just click the button that says Sideload, and that's it. In a matter of a few seconds, it's installed and you're done. After the installation is done, there's only one more step to get the emulator up and running, and that is to create a folder to store your games in. So with your headset still connected to the PC, you're going to want to use the file browser feature of SideQuest to create this new folder and then move some content over onto your headset. Now that everything is set up, it's time to finally put on your headset and fire up the emulator. But before you get discouraged and start thinking something has gone wrong because you can't seem to find the app, just be aware that Citra VR isn't going to be in the normal games and apps list. So in order to find it, we're going to need to select unknown sources from the drop down menu. And once there, you should be able to see that Citra VR is indeed installed and ready to start. Now, after you launch it for the first time, you'll need to accept a few permissions and then point Citra VR towards your newly created ROMs folder, and now you are ready to play. You can read more at UploadVR.com, and please consider becoming a member to support our work directly.